What is going on, family? Cribs here. Thanks for coming back and chilling out with me one more time. You know how important it is for me to spend quality time with my family. Uh, to anybody that is new here, welcome to my YouTube channel, Beard Swag. My name is Mike Cribs. I'm known as Swag in the Bearded Community. I have an Instagram channel that is underscore Beard Swag underscore. This is a channel of positivity, of love, of foundation of Jesus Christ to where I go on a bearded journey, get some products, test them out, do unboxings, and I share with you guys so you can kind of get an idea of some products uh, that may be in your wheelhouse that you want to go to these small batch companies and, and purchase. Um, maybe find out about some new stank profiles, which are scent profiles, uh, that you may not have heard about and didn't even know exist. And it may be just, it turns you on to the point that you want to go try them out because of the amazing scent profiles that they have. Uh, we'll talk about ingredients, a, a lot of things that we talk about here, family. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing down below, there is a subscribe button. There is a reminder bell so you know when I have new content coming out, a thumbs up and a thumbs down. But today, family, this video is not going to be your normal standard, let's sit here and chill kind of a, a video and open up a box or tell you about my journey with the product for a week. This is going to be my daily routine of how I get ready in the morning from the time I step out of the shower, put my shirt on, deodorant, and when I'm dialing in this, this head area. Um, so... I got a tips and tricks about some of the stuff that I use, some of the products that I use, some of the, the combs that I use, just some of the, the preparation for me to get ready to get the beard looking like it is today, uh, this morning. So anyways, kick back, relax, and this is for the new beardsmen. You know, this is a video, but maybe you old heads out there, you may find something, maybe a trick or a step that I use that you hadn't that may work for you. Anyways, family, enjoy. Um, God bless and go love on somebody today. Enjoy the video guys. All right, guys, here it is. This is going to be a video of my morning routine. A few tips, a few tricks, a few of the products that I use, uh, that I think will help you along the way for you guys that already have your routine. This probably isn't a video for you, but sit back and watch. You may learn something. Um, this is for the new beardsmen, uh, that need a routine and I'm going to just dive into this. First of all, what I do, I've already showered. I'm just out. I did wash. I'm not going to go too aggressive on the beard. I'm going to be looking up at the, the mirror here so I can get ready and just share you the journey. But I, I smoked some food last night. I seared some steaks, and I kind of was cleaning my grill. And last night, I got some of that grease, which is great, in my beard. And the smoke was in my beard, so it was a little dirty, I feel. I don't wash my beard. Just be gentle under here. But probably, if I'm not sweaty and nasty and dirty, about three days. Maybe three or four days. Same with my head hair. Three or four days, I don't worry about it. I don't like to get dandruffy and dry my scalp up. Or over wash my hair. Because that's when I get the dandruff. You guys that have that dandruff, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so my hair's good. I've got my beard kind of combed through. I pick a product, but first, before we get into that, guys, I want to tell you some of the soaps. What I love to do is I I love the the conditioners and the ultra conditioners and the 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 washes that you guys get in the in the containers and stuff. Let me slow down. But what I really enjoy for my journey and in my routine is bars of soap that I can use on my body, on my head hair, and my beard. A one-step routine. And I'm going to show you a couple of them that I really love. Uh, tailored beard. Let's just get it right there. One soap. Use for your head. And these are all for your head, your body, and your beard. That guy skincare, new company that you may not have heard about, but I've got a review out on these guys, and they are amazing. Come, their soaps are amazing. Love it. Yep, Texas Beardsman, love their soaps. Amazing soaps, suds up great, and all these suds up really well. You, you, no label on this one, but you know the tobacco bitters from Iowa Beard Care. Love the scent profile. Love the soap. And then, of course, the staple, you know. Dr. Squatch is an amazing soap. 
Another one would be Honest Amish. I don't have any of them right now, but an amazing soap. All three take care of your body, your head hair, and your beard hair. So, great stuff. That's what I use. Also, another tip that I use while I'm washing uh, my head hair or my beard hair, when I wash it or put soap in it and or put conditioner in it, I get me a big long tooth comb. This is always in my shower. This is always used. Let me see if I can. I got this from my barber. And it's amazing. This is used in my shower every day. It's a very long tooth comb that really gets down into under the beard by the skin and, and washes, gets the soap where it needs to, gets the conditioner it needs to, plus it helps with the rinsing factor of it. You can get everything out. So that's what I got. Let me see. We're just going to dive in. I'm ready. Uh, I'm going to use first pumpkin spice. Pumpkin pie scent profile ever in my beard. I thought, you know what? I say I've never used it and I don't really care about it, but I've never used it. So let's dive in. We're going to go a whole dropper. Now let's just put a little bit more in. Now this is a key point, guys. Let me cap that so you don't spill it. Always cap your oils. Especially when you're going to work. Yeah, I can smell that pumpkin spice, definitely. Okay, get the oils up on your fingertips. Get up underneath on your skin. This is where you're going for your oil. Get it up in, underneath the hair, and on your skin. It's, that's what it's for. Mm, promoting blood flow. Opening pores, cleaning pores, filling them up, conditioning those, oh, the roots. Good on your mustache. And then I like to have some excess to put and coat the beard hair before the next step. Boy, that smells pretty good, actually. Another key factor, I have two different combs. I have my Ace comb, which I love. These are amazing. Then I've got one that's broken. This is for my head hair when I use my products in my head hair. This is for the beard. Comb these products in. And you can see already, just by a, a light comb and putting some products in, your beard lays down. And you can be like, hey, you know what? Great. I'm going to go go to work. Excuse me. I keep burping. And we'll be good to go. You know? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with this at all. Next step. This is this is key. I use a hair dryer. Um, I've used the heated brushes before. They just don't work for me. But I love a hair dryer. Let's get that off the wall. Cheap old Walmart one. Conair. It does have the attachment you can use. For a little more fine detailing. I just use it open. I use it on high heat, full bore, and then we'll get into the cold shot in just a minute. But, very key point, guys, when you are combing through your beard, this is just combing through the day or anything, do not go down and go up under your chin to pull the hair out. You're going to get your waves. Just comb straight out and straight down, okay? Another thing with the dryer, move it around. Don't just let it, don't keep it too close because you're going to burn your hair. Keep it a distance away and move it around. So let's go. Sorry about the noise, but we're doing this. That's about where I stay. That's about where I stay right there. You can see how it just relaxes the hair. Lays it down. I love it. Opposed to this side. Probably not a very good transparency, but 
you can see what I'm talking about. And then I switch hands and go to the other side. This does smell really good. So you can see what it does. It adds a little bit of length. It relaxes your beard. Kind of gets it down to a point. You know what I mean? It's it's more of a professional laid down exactly where I like it. With my beard, it, it, it naturally separates in the middle. So I kind of comb to the side when I'm hitting it with some heat. Hitting some heat. And it kind of closes up those gaps. So... Now for the hair. Then we'll get into the cold shot and everything. You guys may not know a lot about this. I use pomades, okay? I use quite a, a couple of them that I have. But my go-to for 30 plus years now has been mousse. I've used this for a long time. I love the way this styles and holds my hair down and keeps it a wet looking all through the day. So you get a pile of it. Normally my hair is a little more wet when I'm doing this. And then I just put it through. I've got a cowlick on the back that I really try to focus on. We all have our problem areas. You get it all through the hair. Not on your beard hair. Rinse my hands off. Dry them off a little bit. This is the key. Grab your head hair comb. I just swoop it over, swoop it down. I like to be dialed in. I like to I like it to hold, and that's why I like the mousse. Because once it dries, it looks wet. And it holds perfect. See? So we'll do that easy. I need a haircut too. I need a trim. So that's the head hair. Okay, now we're done. Except for one thing. I've got to use my butter. So now I've rinsed my hands off already for this. I'm going to go with some butter. I get about a thumbnail full. Now, I let the oil usually sit in my beard for about five minutes before I start messing around, or longer. And then I hit it with the hair dryer. But I'm doing a video. This is for video purposes. Put the butter in. Get it down to the old guys. Down at the end. They really need it. Get it up underneath, all around. Get the rest of it. Put my oil and my butter up here in the corner so I can take a photo and put it on Instagram of what your boy Cribs is rocking today. And then you comb this through. May have just messed up and put, put a little bit of mousse in my beard here, but I've done that before, guys. Transparency. So, now that I have the beard where it needs to be, Key factor, your cold shot button. I hit it on high and I hit it with the cold and get everything locked in. So hold on. Switch hands. Oh. 
done. And as the day goes on, my beard will actually come back to life in a little bit more full, which I love. That's why I love this process that I have. And then I grab my razor. This is where I line out. I don't really need it. But be gentle in this step. Don't rush. Get your hairs. Now, normally, I'll trim up around my ears and stuff like that. Take this time. But I'm done. 13 minutes with babbling. Your boy is ready to go to work. So, anyways, guys, I love you. I'm proud of you. Go tell somebody you love, love them and that you're proud of them. I hope this helped you. Um, leave some comments below and tell me what your some of your processes are. Maybe you've learned something. Maybe I've helped you out a little bit. That's what these videos are for. God bless family.